But uh, things have not gone the way that the senators expected, and I think a lot of us expected. So, Case, uh, the senators, thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to give Ottawa a C, um, kind of below where we expected, but not this isn't totally shocking given the division that they're in. So again, I, I think a C is a fair assessment here. They've been incredibly unlucky, not just analytically, but also injury wise. They've lost a lot of time for good players. Josh Norris in particular, um, their goals for above expected is the league worst minus 33.87. They should be scoring way more. Um, so I'm going to give partial credit to unlucky and partial credit to you got to have guys finish eventually. Like something's got to give. So I'm going to call that a negative as well, giving them a C. Their goaltending has been pretty mediocre. And I don't know, they, there's been bright spots on this team, obviously. I think my dad is uh, putting his vote in for Claude Giroux as prime minister next season or next year, <laughs> rather. Um, so, yeah, like, C. Hey guys, I'm just interrupting this video to say that if you're watching this right now on YouTube, odds are you're not subscribed to our channel. So if you're enjoying this conversation, please hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell to be notified every time we upload. We release full length episodes uh, every Wednesday and we post clips throughout the week too. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers at the moment and we're going for two likes on this video, just two likes. Yeah, Case, I'm glad you brought up the expected goals point because Yes, that stat, negative 33 goals uh, above expected, so 33 goals below expected, means one of two things, or a combination of both. It means that they either don't have any finishers on their team, or they've been extremely unlucky. And usually, I'm willing to point to uh, that stat and say, okay, that means the team's been unlucky. But for the Sens, this has been kind of a trend, and I think it starts with Brady Kachuk, and we've talked about this before, he's a notorious volume shooter and a volume shooter from poor positions on the ice. He just throws everything on net and sometimes that's good, but uh, he doesn't score a lot. So he always generates way more uh, expected goals than he actually scores. And I don't know if that has to do with the system or if it's just the player or like people on players on his line or, or what's going on. But I think it's a combination of both. They need finishers and they've been slightly unlucky this year. Uh, the thing is though, they are sixth in high danger shots for, and they're first in medium danger shots for this year. So like they are still generating those opportunities. So if they have finishing talent going forward uh, talking about next year i think because i think this season is is pretty much done for them if they get some finishing talent i think they you know should be better positioned in this atlantic division um i was looking at some of the the players on their team production wise their top six guys really are producing pretty fine you know tim stutzla and brady kachuk both over a point per game. And then Giroux, uh, Batherson, and uh, Dabrinka, they're all just slightly below, so that's fine. And Case, you mentioned the goaltending's been mediocre. I actually think it's been one of their bright spots. Uh, Anton Forsberg has been pretty good, uh, despite having a 9.05 save percentage. He's 13th in the league right now in goal saved above expected um, because he sees a lot of high danger shots playing uh, behind the Sens. They give up the third most high danger shots in the NHL this season, so that is a bit of a problem. Um, and then one stat I wanted to point out, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, not for the player, but for me as an Ottawa Senators hater. Drake Batherson is minus 30, guys. He's a dash 30. Like that stat or not, it's just, it's one of those things that if it's that egregious, I think you have to point it out. So I am a dash 30 on the season. At the end of the day, though, their possession numbers aren't that bad. They're just not scoring as much as they probably should. And for all of those reasons, I'm giving them a C plus, And I think they'll continue to improve uh, next season. Yeah, I'll give the uh, the Senators a C. Um, it, it's been a little disappointing 
uh, to to see them in this position, I I pick them to be a playoff team or at least on the bubble, uh, fighting for a spot. And uh, you know, given how the season has gone and where they've been at times, again they had just a brutal month of uh, November. Um, you know, being six points out at the All Star break is is not too bad, but uh, the math is not their friend. It's an uphill climb for them at this point to get back in and. You know, I look at a couple of things. Yes, it sucks that Josh Norris is now out for the rest of the season, but they are just unbelievably shorthanded in their forward group without him. You know, you look at their lineup after uh, with, with Norris out, and Shane Pinto just isn't a second line center. I think he's a very good third line center, and he's still very young. And then you have Derek Broussard. Uh, in in that spot at times, which just is not going to work at at his stage and in his career. So that's one thing. And then the other thing, uh, they need a defenseman so badly, I think. And so we've been hearing uh, rumors lately that they are looking at adding a defenseman that can really help them in their top four. And so it's kind of weird to look at them as, you know, trying to to buy a, a defenseman who's going to help them at this point with where they're at outside of a playoff spot and their season likely over. But I do like that, you know, they're just not going to be content with selling and the season's done and all of that. Get a guy who can help you on the back end, build some chemistry up back there and uh, get some momentum heading into next season. And then uh, you're looking at these guys to take a step next year that they probably should have this season. So hasn't gone uh, the the best for them, but they've been playing well lately. Uh, Winners of four straight. And so with all that being said, I'll give the Sens a C.